Hello and welcome to my short video on modding Crusader Kings 2. Now this will be a follow on uh, from a couple of videos uploaded by Paradox in LP. Um, so we'll work with those as a basis. So you may want to go and watch those if you haven't already. Now I'm just going to take over from where he left off and show you a few extra things that you can do to add in your own dynasties characters and things like that. So first off we're just going to go into the game and have a little look at some changes that I've made to show you what can be done and then we'll have a look at the files that are to, to achieve those effects. So if we zoom in here to Chester we can see that it's currently its own little country and we have our own character here our own dynasty so we'll click play ok so now we're into the game we'll zoom down nice and close and have a look at our county so here we go and you can see here that I've changed not just the county uh, into its own little kingdom but also the holdings within so my county capital is now called Grayskull I've got the city of Liverpool and the bishoprics of Anfield and Goodison my de jure kingdom of Everton and here my de jure duchy uh, which I haven't changed or I haven't changed correctly rather and then also we are a Scouse for our culture instead of Saxon or English. If I click on my character here, see my hair, another added character. And if we go to our dynasty screen, you can see my own custom coat of arms and my dynasty tree here. So we'll uh, come out of the game for a minute. And we'll have a look at some of these files and the changes that have been made. So, to start off with, we'll have a look at some of the files that we would have already have changed if we followed the Paradoxian LP videos. So here you can see the custom dynasties that I've added, and in the uh, file here, the code file that tells the game how to display. Uh, countries that are tagged or holdings and duchies and empires how to display their name in various languages within the game uh, this is where our country, our empire, our duchy and our county are all defined so I've just taken the, uh, the county of Chester which I've commented out there and then added it back in within its own little uh, country here and here you can see where I've taken out some of the old holding names and put in the new ones you'll notice here that there's eight to nine different holdings if we go to this file here so 59.chester this breaks down to tell you how many holdings you can have within the county and what each type is so which each holding type is rather so Goodison, Enfield are temples Liverpool's a city Grayskull's a castle um, also set the culture and religion of the county and also here much like with the files that uh, Paradoxian showed you can set the culture or religion or anything to change us if certain start dates for the game and then here we just got a history file for Chester so just setting my character as the domain holder at the start of the game and then commented out the uh, the age of the Duchy of Lancaster to make sure that I'm independent uh, this file is not important in a minute but it's just basically the same sort of thing 
but for one of the holdings within my county. Here is where I've added uh, a couple of characters. I've also created my own uh, culture here with another character inside. And then one of the interesting things we can do as well is if we have a look at the dynasties is we can see how I created my own custom coat of arms. So if we look here in these last few lines here, each of these uh, correlate to a different part of the coat of arms. If I just flip over to Photoshop quickly, as you can see down here we've got the first line textually equals 1. Well in one of these folders here, so within your Crusader Kings 2 folder, you've got all these files here. Pattern pattern 2, pattern 3, pattern 4 and these correlate to these files here so texture equals 0 would be this one, texture equal 1 for pattern 2 and so on. And then within these files you've got texture internal tells you which one of these squares to use as the backdrop for the coat of arms so as you can see in the file here, I've got texture internal 7. So we start at 0, so we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. If we look in the game... The same pattern as the background of my, my code farms. Now the file here also gives you emblem equals 6. So that will tell you, or that will tell the game to display the blue castle there, or the blue tower. And then the final part is colour, colour, colour. These correlate to the red, green, and blue sections of the pattern. So you can see how I've got colour 2, colour 1, colour 13. Now, all these colours are listed here in this little text file that I've knocked up, which I'll upload and link in the comments below, which will tell you which each emblem uh, relates to by number, and which each colour relates to by number. So you can see here, colour 2, blue, colour 1, white, colour 13, turquoise, or whatever you want to call it, if we go to the game blue, white, turquoise. Um, so just on where some of those files are as well. So if you go to your Crusader Kings 2 folder, obviously your coat of arms, patterns and backgrounds are in the GFX coat of arms. Um, as we would have seen in the Paradoxians video in the history characters folder is where you can add your own text file or edit text files to add your characters. In the common folder instead of just editing these text files here now each one has their own folder so you've got dynasties, landed titles and uh, I think that's all in there. Our oh, cultures as well, and um, we can make some changes. And obviously, traits, all kinds of stuff you can you can change in there if you wanted. Uh, localization, which has the folder to, to um, put all the translations, so the game knows how to write your various items named within the game. And then back in the history one, we've also got the provinces, and this is where the file, the, the 59 Chester file, which defines all the holdings within that county. So anyhow, I hope that uh, helps guys out. You can uh, add a little bit to your mods or add your own characters and things to the game, and maybe you can make your own Game of Thrones mod at some point in the future. Cheers.